We're going to finish our little talk on aerobic respiration with the electron transport chain. It takes place in the organelle known as the mitochondrion. The mitochondrion has an outer membrane, as you can see here, but it has an inner membrane that is elaborately folded back and forth to maximize the surface area to volume ratio for the chemical reactions that I'm going to represent happen on this inner mitochondrial membrane. So the more of that you have, the better. We left off with the Krebs, which also happens in the mitochondrion, so we're going to stick that right there. And the main energy carrying molecule coming out of the Krebs is NADH. This process causes the NADH to split into three different things. We have electrons, represented by the E minus. We have hydrogen ions, representing by the H plus. And thirdly, and thirdly, we have Na D plus created. I'm not going to say a lot more about NAD plus, except to say that it gets sent back to the Krebs so that it can be re-energized and used again. Okay, the electrons are pulled into the membrane and they go jumping from protein to protein and this is why they call it a chain. So these electrons are hopping along the membrane, just like the electrons in a wire, until they reach a special protein embedded in the membrane that is some form of active transport, and we're going to call it the H plus pump. The hydrogen ion pump is powered by a flow of electrons. It's the exact same pump that we found in the thylakoid and photosynthesis, and its job is to pump hydrogen ions from the inside space to this outer space. And a concentration builds up of hydrogen ions in this outer area, and so I'm going to represent that with a bunch of H plus ions. Apparently, there could be as many as a thousand times more hydrogen ions on this outside space as in the inner space. That's a three-fold difference in pH value. There's another important protein in the membrane that you saw before called ATP synthase, represented by that purple blob with the little propeller coming out the top. The more NADH that is created, the more H plus ions are formed, and the more hydrogen ions can be pumped into this outer space. Eventually the pressure builds up and these things go back inside through the ATP machine. And every time a hydrogen ion goes through the ATP machine, the propeller goes around one time. This action causes a molecule of adenosine diphosphate to be connected with its lone phosphate group to make ATP. So if we took all the NADH that was created in the previous steps and ran them through the electron transport chain, we would create 34 molecules of ATP. Very important, energy carrying molecule. Okay, a couple of final points. 
the molecule FADH2 that was created in the Krebs cycle also has energy stored in it. I'm not clear on the process, but I think it produces hydrogen, ions, and electrons, and would be fed in a similar fashion through the electron transport chain. Let's not worry any more about that. I do want to continue my story with the electrons. After they turn the pump on, they get pulled into the inside space by our good friend, oxygen. Oxygen gas would diffuse into the cell and then diffuse into the inner space of the mitochondrion. Oxygen is considered to be the final electron acceptor. Oxygen is reduced in this process and it combines with hydrogen ions to form one of the outputs from respiration, which is water, H2O. Okay, we're pretty much done. We've taken all the energy that was stored in NADH and FADH2 and converted it entirely into ATP, which as you know is the energy currency of the cell. Two final thoughts. If an aerobic creature stopped breathing, in other words, if you ran out of oxygen, the electrons would stop moving. And there's the telephone. And if the electrons stopped moving, the pump would break and no hydrogen ions would be pumped and the ATP machine would stop and you wouldn't make any ATP and you would die. This would all happen even if you kept eating food and had plenty of materials for running the Krebs cycle. So, keep breathing and have a good night.